evening, cult members, and welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And I did it with my hands again. <laughs> you have to go to the YouTube channel if you're on the podcast feed. I do things with my hands. <laughs> and there might be a lot of things going on with my hands, because we're going to have words between the two of us. This is going to be our... Uh, we're going to say non-spoiler review, and then we'll get to some spoiler talk at the end. And when we get to the spoiler talk, we will tell everybody that we're doing spoilery kind of okay. things. Because there's right. stuff at the end uh, that we need to discuss. And you oh. can't discuss that last episode and a half without True. Uh, without doing True. some spoilers. So we will talk about the generalized overall of the story, and then we'll tell you what we're doing story. Um, I'm going to go first okay. and just say um, cursing is coming. I fucking love this season. <laughs> I love this show, period. But I love this season. Like, love this season. Love, 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 love. Uh, Last season was okay. Mm -hmm. um, first season's uh, amazing. Yeah. Like, so, so good. Yep. Um, second season gets a little, you know, preachy and and stuff at times. Yeah. And, and I mean, it was a setup for this season, right? It very much felt like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because... I mean, what happens in this season couldn't have happened if they'd done what they did in the second season, yes. which is yes. probably how most shows work. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this season, um, uh, we get the ramifications of uh, Lucifer uh, being trapped in Nick's body and right. that the season starts there and Sabrina right. trying to be um, both uh, um, the leader of hell and in this coven and be a regular teenager and all of that kind of and their coven has fallen apart and the co coven has fallen apart and then it's being threatened by a bunch of pagans because pagans <laughs> uh uh, I love that Whatever. they use the pagans this year as the main antagonist. I won't call them the bad guy. They were the main antagonist. The bad guy is just straight out Satan. Right. Um, and Calabas. Uh, but, um, but the pagans, the threat of the pagans coming in is almost the showrunners kind of snubbing their nose at people who are like, like – you're using paganism in the show and like the first witchcraft first two seasons yeah. and witchcraft and stuff Sat like that satanism and 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 they kind of came they, this season was kind of that that for me was the whole like snub on their nose like no 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 they're christian <laughs> yeah they just believe in satan <laughs> or worship satan right and here's what the pagans really are like they believe in the old ways and they had the green god and the right the, the green man and, and right stuff like I, that. I feel like the pagans were a little more gypsy than pagan but okay. yeah yeah having having many of of pagan friend right uh, um it, that's not exactly right but they'll know that a lot of the satanists think that way about the show too so right and yeah which is aren't like the, i mean you just you gotta suspend suspend disbelief and go with it it's based on a comic book come on guys. right what do you <laughs> think overall of this store of the season of this um season? It was not my favorite season. This is why he says we're going to have words. Um, I appreciate the uh, singing aspects, but I think they went a little overboard. Um, there was a couple times where I was just like my like giving myself a concussion by my eye rolls, um, and I thought that the end was like I knew that's what was going to happen. Yeah, maybe I'm expecting too much from a TV show, but it, um, in in the in the grand scheme of things, the show is a you know teens dealing with relationships and yeah yeah you know self identification and self realization and yeah. and being their own it's people. It just felt and super just... angsty, and I don't know. Maybe that's just where I'm at in my life. I'm just, I don't have time for that. But I, super teen I, angsty I, and I can I can understand that I can understand that. Will we have sex? Will we not have sex? I'm a virgin. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was a good way of like, at least uh, I I think that was a good way of like, you you do it on your you do sex on your own 
But you don't, because you got to do it or you're going to be well, sacrificed. One couple, one couple does it, and they do it on their own. Yeah. And, and without, like, the pressure of this, you know, being a virgin sacrifice. And the other couple doesn't out of the pressure. And it's the guy in the couple yeah. who's the virgin, not the girl. It would be very easy for the girl to be yeah. the virgin. Yeah, but it, I never expect them to... Uh, not in this show. No. Yeah, yeah, no. But it was the guy, and and it was it wasn't a. a they actually even talked about in in that, a couple of episodes, like we think we're going to get there, we think we're going to get there, but they're going to let it play out yeah. instead of forcing it. And I that, that for me was I one of the things I actually really appreciated. Right. I understand why people, why you and the other people who are wrong, <laughs> didn't like that. I got that, but. Uh, but I also like that was one of the things I liked. I liked every episode has a musical number. Yeah, it was it, just it was it's too much. We are talking about a teenage witch. I know living I know. at a funeral home. I, know. I liked the first episode, the first season, the best, and I liked that they delved more into Sabrina and her relationships with her friends, both in the normie high school and the and the coven high school which really isn't kind of there sort of there they're trying to bring it back whatever and you know her relationship with her aunties and i just uh, i don't know it was it, for me it was too much there was you know yeah was, we can do a, a song here and there but every single episode every episode had, had at least one musical number yeah, yeah, yeah. i get that but you don't start off your advertising campaign with a music video and not I, what we said in our music video review that if there's not a musical episode we'd right, be upset but there wasn't, but there, there wasn't. every it single was, episode was a musical every, episode yeah. it was like uh, yeah one of my complaints was i just felt there was too much stuff there was the pagans. There was Calabas. There was Satan. There was the stuff going on with Nick. There's the stuff that's going on with yeah. the normies. There's the stuff that the coven is running out. Of, uh, doesn't have you know the power anymore because Satan is on the run and or, or they're not worshiping Satan anymore. They're worshiping Lilith and there's all the Lilith side of things and yeah. and it's so there was like it was like this story and this story and this yeah. story and this story. Yeah, I almost wonder um, if they're like planning on. Like the next season is the last season and they're trying to fit in all these ideas that it, they want to get out there. There was almost three full on, could have been an entire eight episode season plot lines. Yeah, yeah definitely. And all the side stuff that you need to have in those, you know, you'll have, you'll have one main plot line and then all the other kind of yeah. secondary ones or whatever. Yeah, the ongoing the stories ongoing or whatever. Story. But, yeah. But the, this one, there was three obvious big ones and then three other smaller big ones. Yeah. And then there was like <laughs> eight smaller, smaller ones. <laughs> and, and you're just the entire, like, like there was times I'm like, okay, I, there was times I had to close my computer because I'm just like, where are we and yeah. which like which story arc yeah. are we in yeah. and, and yep. stuff yep. oh and here's a side mission that you have to go on yeah. because we have to like do all this other stuff and calabas is there and he's gorgeous and but yet he's kind of a weaselly big bad i, I like it was, yeah, yeah. I, that was that was my one major complaint about the season as a whole is that it just seemed like they was trying to cram too much in there yeah um i i do want to talk about um, Theo, yes, for a second. So okay. Theo last season um, became a transgender transgender character right within the show, right. and I I believe she's actually doing doing that in real life too. I'm, don't quote okay. me on any of that. I, cool. I, I've seen some stuff where they introduced the 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 actor as he okay so i don't know if that's the, if that's Just trying to keep in character with the show right or right i don't if it's yeah i'm not okay. i'm not i'm not please don't quote me please don't quote me on that but if you do know the real reason be nice in the comments and let us know <laughs> this uh, is a fact it's a fact people. it's a fact um well if you read uh comic book does it, what was it uh we've got it covered it's a fact um <laughs> don't click on their site at all ever they're the onion uh but her his her transition into into him 
their transition. Um, I really liked last season. It kind of got a little preachy at times, a little over the top about, you know, this process. We have friends who have gone through the transition. We've had multiple friends go through the transition. Um, it, so for us, it's not a big deal. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Right. You're Ashley now instead of, you know, Duncan. You know, cool. right. Okay, cool. Right. You know, and, and but this season, I really liked that she had a, she had a relationship or he had a relationship. Right. And they dealt with the, the conversation of, oh, by the way, I'm not really, I'm not really, a, I'm, I'm still in the, trying to work through the process of being yeah, I mean, identifiable it was, of, you know. It was probably because of the audience that they're most trying to make this show towards. It was like, there had to have been a deeper discussion <laughs> oh, yeah. than yeah. what there was. It was pretty, um, yeah, I'm not who I was, I was born. Born. Something and, like and that. And his character, his boyfriend they end up being yeah boyfriend boyfriend yeah. um hobgoblin but, hobgoblin yeah um and he's amazing by the way uh but like the way they handled their relationship both emotionally and physically was really well done yeah and and i really loved the fact that they did uh, um they did the scene where they had to uh douse their bodies in oil mm -hmm. and so they had to strip down to their underwear and do all their bare skin on on in oil and actually i think it was dead people water dead people water i think maybe it was what it was yeah um the the normies had to go to purgatory it was weird uh but um he had a bra on yeah so it was a, a physical representation that the transition was still in progress yeah and i thought and, and they didn't make a big deal about it Right. It was just like, you know, it just like it was part of the scene. And of course, he hasn't started the full process yet. And right. so right. still developing as a teen and stuff like that. And so right. I just I just thought that was really cool. Like that. that. Um, overall, I really like the season. You were not so happy with it. I wasn't um, not. I, eh, it, it just wasn't my favorite season. OK, that's fair. Last season was probably my least favorite. This is next. And then the first season. Well, that's where we're on the same page. I just like the season, I think, a little bit more than you do. Okay, did. sure. Let's, uh, let's go into a little bit of spoiler talk um, f because we have to talk about the last episode and a half. Okay. Um, uh, so we're going to do spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Um, you've been warned, all that kind of jazz. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, click, click now. Take now out. You have three, two, and one. All right. Let's talk about the spoiler end. Um, I both love, love, love the way they ended this and hate the way they ended this because you even talked about they wrote themselves into a corner. Yeah. <laughs> they wrote themselves into a corner, wiped everybody off the board. Yeah. Yeah. Sabrina, Satan, Calabas. Yeah. Uh, the aunties, the coven, the yeah. pagans, like they whopped everybody off the board. Yep. And then said, here's the doctor, timey why me. <laughs> yeah. And we fixed it. And yeah. with like no real explanation. They just kinda they said it one sentence if you have to ask, they're not gonna like they Sabrina rescues Sabrina and tells her you have to come back and rescue me when you're done. Right. Except and, that, it, that it, never, it never then happened because she didn't. Right. I, I just I love that they did the time travel stuff. I, I love time travel yeah. and, and the ridiculousness that is time travel and that uh, you can play with so many different things. They set up the time travel stuff in like episode two. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's, so they, they, they made a point of setting it all up that it all could be done and, and there. And I like them going to the future after everything had been destroyed and how they – like the ramifications of, of Sabrina's actions yeah. and the pagans' actions and how they need to go back and fix all that. Just thinking about it, I think what they should have done was ended it there. There, with everybody wiped out. Yeah. And then, I mean, I know that they 
aren't guaranteed another season, right? They're kind of at the mercy of Netflix picking right, them up right. again. So they probably felt like they wanted to finish out their story, but I think that would have been an amazing place to just leave it. And if they got picked up for another season, then they can do all that stuff then, and it probably would have felt better. And if they don't, then it just ends on a... I, I, I think everybody's if they, gone. If they, I think if they did finish it with Sabrina stuck on the rock, everybody's been taken off the board, and the last scene is Sabrina walking into the room where the three obelisks, obelisks are were, yeah. and stuff. Sabrina walking in the room saying, okay, like, like, okay, let's go. Like, yeah. And then, and then season four starts with like all the talk online would be, how do you end the season there? Yeah. You just wiped everybody yeah. off the board. Yeah. yeah. And, and you missed an opportunity. And it would have been a great like marketing opportunity. Everybody would be talking about it right now. Yep. No, like as much as we love the series and as much as we've been getting clicks off the trailers and everything and getting some, you know, interaction online, like I'm not seeing anything extra. Like Twitter hasn't been a buzz with yeah. what happened this season. Yeah. And we didn't, um, you know, like the first and second season when they dropped, everybody was talking about it online and stuff. And this, this season, there was a little so bit of a blurb the first day that it, it dropped mm -hmm. um, on social media, but really nothing else. But if you end the season there yeah. and don't do that last episode where they fix everything, yeah. fix most things, a lot of things, some things don't get fixed. Right. Um, and then you come back next season with the Negan scene. Yeah. Of ex explaining like, this is what, you know, this is what happened. Um, because Sabrina made these decisions yeah. and having to deal with that the rest of the way. I think that's just, I think that's, I, 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 I am agreeing. I think that would have been a really cool story. I fixed and, it. And, and <laughs> you take that extra episode instead of telling that story in seven episodes and then trying to fix it in the eighth episode, you take the seventh episode series or, or conversation. And now you stretch out to eight. Yeah. You can fill in some of those. 14 different story arcs right. are going on a little right. bit better. So Not they have, have to a little more. quite so much. Yep. And so, uh, yeah, I think that, well, fuck you. Now I, now my decision on the series is totally different. <laughs> we just wrote a better season yeah. finale. Yeah. Than, yeah. And, and, five and now I'm not wrong it. anymore. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> it's still a fun season. <laughs> I, I still want to point out that it's still a fun season. Yeah. Like, I, 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 it's it, it my is, second favorite season. But I, and there's I'm only super excited seasons, for season so. four. And, and yeah. what they do, and Michelle Rodriguez can, or Michelle Gomez can be in everything. Like, yeah, <laughs> I, I love her, and uh, and uh, Karen Shipot Shipcock Shipcock Ship Shipka Shipka can, Karina, sh yeah, what you said. Um, Sabrina herself is amazing. Karen She's, Shipka. Yeah, I am uh, sure it's way over there. There's a K in there. Uh, <laughs> but, supposed to be a K in your name. Uh, K's are weird. Uh, they just, they're X's that got lazy. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. You didn't know you were getting an education on lazy letters and the <laughs> alphabet, did you? Uh, I, I, I appreciate what they're doing with this show. I appreciate them leaning into the weirdness and, and, and just let it be weird for weird sake and not getting it's not overly bloody even though it's a bloody show and it's not over violent though it's got violence in it and 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 the idea of finding your community finding your family finding yeah. your found family like oh, that whole process i think is really something that's cool and and it's kind of dog why we love stranger things so much yes yes yeah. yeah. it's a much the same kind of conversation yep. so overall good season not a, probably as great as i was making it out to be at the beginning of this conversation <laughs> because we wrote a better ending than everyone else so let us know what you thought of this uh this current Season three. I'm just trying to remember what it was, but I was trying to say uh, the season three of the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Uh, let us know in the comments. If you're on the podcast feed, please follow us on the podcast feed. If you are on the YouTube channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. And we're on all the social media stuff: Facebook, Instagram. I don't know why Twitter. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't get it. But uh, all those links are in the description down below. 
And until next time, if we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.